seems like so much of our life has been trying to overcome obstacles to get where it is that we're supposed to be. Think about it in your relationships, in your job, in your finances or health, even in your relationship with God. How much of your energy, how much of your time and focus is spent trying to do what is necessary in order to get what you need from your circumstances or from God and get where you need to be in each of those areas. But I think maybe the question is, if we're supposed to be working to accomplish the Christian life, how much work do you have to do before you experience the rest of the Christian life that's promised in Scripture? Paul actually says in almost every letter that he wrote that we've been crucified already with Christ that we're already resurrected with Christ, that we ascended and sat down with Christ. And so the Christian life is not what we do for God, but how we live from what God has already done by grace for us in Jesus. this incredible thing to the Colossians. To that church he specifically said since then you've already been raised with Christ. Since that's already been done for you. Since that's true set your heart and your mind on where you are in Christ with God. And he even tells us why. He says for you died already and your life now today here is hidden in Christ with God. So just imagine it. Right now, Jesus Christ is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. He's finished his work to redeem us and make us one in spirit with God so that we could actually set our minds on where we are with him and the Father. In John 17, Jesus actually prayed to the Father right in front of his disciples that you and I would be where he is, that we would enjoy his union with God, that we would experience all that he's given us freely and witness and share in his glory. So imagine God the Father seated on his throne and at his right hand is Jesus Christ and you are seated in Christ with the Father. So the love that Jesus has, you have. And the security that he has, you have. The confidence in God's work that he has, you have. What's his by merit, what he has earned by his work and righteousness and authority is yours by grace. My prayer for you is not that you would come to some understanding of what you have to do in order to get what you need from the Father or get Him to put you in the place that He wants you to be, but rather that you would know the value and the hope and the power at work in your life because of what Christ has already accomplished on your behalf. That instead of you trying to meet what God requires and step up to some standard that He has for you, that you would enjoy the finished work of Jesus having met every requirement and having already surpassed every standard and given his life freely to you as a new creation, as a saint and a son that you can live from where you are and who you are by grace in Christ with God.